All right, here we go. We're back with the Fox News alert at the House. Look at this. His meeting right now ahead of the expected vote on President Biden's embattled Build Back Better agenda. Just moments ago, our own Griff Jenkins spoke to House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy about what to expect today. Then it is amnesty for 10 million illegals. You've got 87,000 new IRS agents to target you. If you make $28 a day or spend it, they're coming after you. And we're going to do everything in our power to stop it. All right. Meanwhile, right now, as you can see, live images. Members are voting on a motion to adjourn from Republican Andy Biggs. A last minute, 2,000 page revision went out last night, full of the additions, including amnesty for illegal immigrants. This, as the Congressional Budget Office has yet to give their score on the real cost. Uh, this, to me, is an absolute embarrassment, and, and you're circumventing the entire process. You print a bill out last night, 2,000 pages, and you tell everyone voted on it at 8 o'clock in the morning that's going to affect everyone? Let's bring in Republican Indiana Senator Mike Braun, member of the Senate Help Committee. Good morning to you, Senator. Good morning. Good morning. Tell the American public that's watching what we can expect today. So this is a, a kind of a culmination of probably the most embarrassing moment in Pelosi's career. She no rules with kind of an iron fist and is leader of the orchestra. And this is what happens when you're kind of like so opportunistic on this is not a mandate. LBJ had a mandate when he had 68 senators sure. and 295 representatives. Here, they're pushing an agenda, which you've been mentioning, way over their skis. It's falling apart. They'll try to ram something through because they've invested so much in it. And we've been hearing, well, we're going to vote today. Right. We've been hearing that over a month ago. So <laughs> let's see. Yeah. You know what? Speaking of seeing, uh, Senator, they should look in the rearview mirror. And they should look at the wreckage that was Tuesday and decide whether or not this is a good idea. I mean, if that isn't kind of the two by four across the head politically, and then they're digging in deeper. They're adding stuff back, like that salt exemption mm -hmm. that was taken down to a $10,000 cap. You talk about the swamp in motion. They're raising that back up to 72000 to help their own folks. So. That is what's crazy to me is when you know it's this close and you've been embarrassed, why do you dig the hole deeper? I mean, this is so much material for us to work with. Sure. If we can't win in 2022, 2024, we need to soul search ourselves. So, Senator, the way I see it, they're going to vote. And if it gets through the House, has there been a trial balloon to the Senate to see if you'll vote for a bill they just wrote last night of 2,000 pages? And I guess they don't care about you. They care about their so-called moderate senators. And I see Joe Manchin talking to Mitch McConnell all the time. What are you hearing about him? Maybe Tester, maybe uh, Senator Warner, too, and Kirsten Sinema. I think you're going to hear more of it simply because of what happened on Tuesday. Uh, that is a political bombshell for them. And it surprised me that Pelosi, as she was marching down the halls yesterday, seemed smug and we're going to do it. She's in a tough spot, yes, because you've got four or five senators that could derail whatever happens in the House. It's sad that we're down to just a few Democratic senators as a firewall to protect us and what we need to do. And that's when we get the reins back, be more engaging on the issues, show real fiscal conservatism and how small, effective government works. That's our opportunity right now. We're relying on Democrats. We really can't do anything other than what, watch and wait. Yeah. They're doing a lot of damage to themselves. All right. Senator, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. My pleasure.